Okay, so I wanted to make this video to kind of give everybody an update on what's going on, what I've been planning, what I've been working on, what's coming next. So next, I'm starting over. I'm going to start over with my trading accounts on YouTube and do things a little bit different. I'm going to leave all my videos up that I've already got, but I'm going to try something different this time around. So the purpose of my videos have always been to just be something for my students to learn from. So, but I also learned that there's a lot of you that will never be my students that don't want to be, that have your own trading styles at work, that are, you, know, you guys are doing great, but you like to see what other traders are doing. So the videos also need to be somewhat entertaining and also need to be able to give some kind of value to you watching it, some kind of education, some kind of information based on trading in general if you're not using my algorithms instead of just saying, oh, he made money in his algorithm today, but you don't really gain anything from that. So I want to change the way I'm doing things a little bit and add some more content. And at the same time, I think I'm going to try to do something a little bit crazy on the crazy side. I was going to do this in the very beginning when I started this uh, back in January of 2020, but I decided not to because my trading plan showed that I would probably blow up my account. But if I didn't blow up my account, it could be pretty epic at the same time. And then from the entertaining side of things, if I blew up my account, that would be entertaining for everybody. And if I was successful, that would be entertaining. And I'm not talking about a $50,000 account or a $100,000 account. I'm talking about, you know, a five or $600 account. So not that big a deal if I, you know, blow up a $500 account. But uh, I think I'm going to try something different with that. So before we get into that, I want to give you a little backstory and uh, get you up to speed. So originally in my YouTube account, I was just going to do only trades that involve day trading on my simple switch day trading algorithm and just based based on the basic rules of the algorithm that I teach my students. But I'm going to add into that. I'm going to add in my gap trades, which I also use the algorithm for. I'm going to add in my special rules trades, um, which I use the algorithm with. And I'm going to use my day trades that I've already been doing um, that my students get as a base part of their class. I'm going to start bringing more futures trade content to uh, YouTube as well as swing trading content. Now, I realize not everybody has the time to be able to day trade. Some people have their regular jobs during the day and you don't get to day trade. But, you know, in the futures market, you can trade in the evening. And in the swing trading, most people can be able to do that because you can do that pretty much from your phone. So all my accounts that I trade with on, um, on my video, uh, on my video, like, uh, so for all my accounts that I trade with for my video uploads, um, you know, I try to trade live, first of all. Like, I try to just record everything, talk as I'm trading, so you hear everything as it is, um, what I'm thinking in the, in the moment, and then just upload that, you know. Um, this is what I try to do. I don't like to do voiceovers. I don't like to do, like, recaps. I don't think there's value, as much value in all that stuff as when, you, when you're getting it um, raw. So I try to just upload my live um, trades. So most of my live trades, you'll see that. If, if there's going to be a voiceover or a recap, I'll tell you. You know, hey, I had an audio issue today or whatever it is. Here's a voiceover or here's a uh, recap. I'm going to be very transparent. I want you, I mean, you'll probably be able to tell the difference. I can probably, I could tell the difference sometimes when I'm watching traders. So I just want to be real with you on that. Um, sometimes I will have to do it, but I'm going to try not to do that. So for all my accounts that I have, my swing trading account I keep separate from my futures account. And then I have my day trading account. I keep all three accounts separate, three separate buckets of money. So with that said, you know, for my video uploads, all that stuff, I try to keep it, you know, I keep my normal life family rules, if you will, has to be private. So like I'm not allowed to show my real accounts, um, so I don't trade with those. So I set up just accounts strictly for video trading. Some traders do, you know, they're out there like, hey, I made $100,000 today. Oh, I'm up a million bucks in six, in six months. And they're giving the exact details and their broker and all their information, who they are, where they live, like... That's going out to the world. That's the world audience. There's, you know, there's people out there in the world that aren't great people. So I don't really want them to have all that personal information. I don't, and it, my family basically put that rule on me too for doing any kind of a channel like this uh, to not have that out there. So that's why I have these small accounts strictly for uh, my video uploads. But at the same time, I think they can be just as educational, if not more, because a lot of traders are trading with small accounts. So I think it's more relatable than, you know, hey, I made $100,000 today and, and all that stuff that you see a lot of other traders doing. So you will see those accounts. So some of them, you know, on this day trading account right now, you're going to see, because of what I'm getting ready to do, you're going to see my P&L. Um, you'll also see my, you know, my account value. 
and all that stuff. Um, normally I don't like to have that stuff on the screen because I don't like to look at it and I don't want to encourage others to do the same because I think it's kryptonite when you have your dollar amounts and your account value and all that on your screen. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, do it just for this because of uh, the purpose of what I'm getting ready to do. But with my futures account and my swing trading account, I won't have those and I'll always be trading with the uh, small size. So regardless of account size, my futures account, I'll never take more than one contract unless it's my red dot strategy, which likes me to take four. So I may take four contracts or more, um, but I may take up to four. I won't take more than that for my video uploads. And uh, my swing trading strategies, I'm always going to keep a uh, small, small share size. Because I think, you know, if I took 500 shares of a position or 10,000 shares of a position, the education pretty much is the same for a trader who's got a small account. So I don't think it benefits, you know, any to show that I'm taking 10,000 shares. So, and, and the more shares size that I show, the more it gives away my account value. And then, um, you know, then I'm breaking family rules. So I won't be showing any of that kind of stuff. I'll be trying to keep some of that private. Okay, so what I did back in January is I took an account um, with the Capital Markets Elite Group and to day trade my simple switch algorithm so that my students can learn from it. And that account, I started with $1,000, but then after some uh, transfer fees and stuff, it was like 980 or something like that, not in change. So, and then I grew that account to a little over $2,000. And then I, and I tested hotkeys, not realizing that my account automatically was switching from SIM to live money and I was just pushing buttons and not even paying attention and dropped that account in like half an hour all the way back down to $1,200 testing that insane. And then I grew that account all the way back up again. So then I took, a, I took uh, withdrew um, money from that account to draw the account back down so that I can do what I'm getting ready to do. And that this day trading account, I'll never have more than $5,000 in it. So every time I hit 5K, going back down. So that's the plan with this uh, day trading account. So here we go. So well, let's get into this a little bit more. So for those of you who have been following me on my, my trades throughout the year already, you know, the last several weeks I have not been um, uploading that many videos. Futures videos I've been uploading because I've been working overnights when it's quiet and I can get stuff done to uh, completely update and redo 2020daytrader.com. And at the same time, I'll take some futures trades and then I upload those futures trades. And uh, so those, those have been going up. Um, but with my futures market, you know, there's not trades every day. Sometimes there is and I just don't catch them. But, uh, you know, my other couple strategies, I have three strategies in the futures market. So, and they're not always, there's not always trades. And in my day trading strategy, my normal one, there's not always trades every day. But with my modified rules and my gap trades, I usually have at least one trade every day. So adding those to the bucket should allow me to upload videos every day. So between not having trades every day and working in the overnight and not really being around the market during the day that much, um, I haven't had that many uploads of late. But at 2020 Day Trader, what I've done is I've made everything on there free. So all my strategy stuff, my, you know, showing you my trade plans, all that stuff is free. How, how I do everything, like everything that I have is 100% free now on 2020 Day Trader. The only thing that costs money on there is my trade logs, if you guys decide to get those. Um, not my personal ones, but like the ones where you can use the same type of log I'm using. It's an Excel document. And then if you decided you wanted to copy what I'm doing with swing trading, futures trading, or day trading, my algorithm that I use. So that's the only thing you would have to pay for. So you literally could go through my entire trading course and decide, you know what, this isn't for me. It doesn't cost you anything. And yes, you have to put like your name, your, just you have to log in and like get a login. And then that'll allow me to send you an email saying, hey, this has been updated or this has changed or whatever. I don't spam you. I don't do any of that stuff. I don't you know, I'm not sending you emails every day. I might send you an email a couple times a year with updates on the site or a new product that might come out, something like that. Or, the, you know, I may twice a year send you, you know, a coupon to something. But I don't send you emails every day. I hate that when, when you sign up for a trading service and they just bombard you with garbage. So I don't do that. So, but you will have to log in and then all my my classes are free. And then after you after you've gone through them, if you decide it's right for you, then you can buy the algorithm and start trading it, you know? So I feel like whatever, when you're a trader, you have to do what fits for you. You could take a winning strategy and be a loser because it doesn't fit you. So just because it works for somebody else, it doesn't mean it's going to work for you. So you need to find out if it fits you before you invest your time and money into it. So I made everything on there for free. So that's what's new at 2020 Day Trader. That's what I've been working on, redoing all the content so that it can be free. 
and uh, and maybe more useful for a lot of you. And you probably get, even if you have good strategies already and you go on there and get, run through it, you might learn something new on how I set up my risk management, you know, all that kind of stuff. There might be something in there for you. Okay, so for my crazy new plan. So you can see the layout here. In this window here, you'll have my thinkorswim charts. Uh, there's two order entry windows here. So I can click between the two of them. The reason why there are two is because I use this one for my normal trading and I use this one for my special rules and gap trades because I need it to be able to, if, if I get in and the stock goes against me, I want to instantly reverse my position without having to push a lot of buttons. So this order window here will automatically reverse my position for me. So that's part of that strategy. If I'm wrong going one direction, I'm usually right going the other. So it will automatically reverse for me. So that's why I have those two windows there now. Up here will be my orders as they get placed. will pop up in here so you'll be able to see those um, getting placed. And then you'll have my account balances here. Um, commissions is something to pay attention to um, because you can get surprised with how expensive commissions is. Um, I'll fix that. just lost that. Why did you? All right. I'll fix it a little bit later. So anyway, so commissions, so you have just because my SIM account was there. But so you have my shares, you have commissions, you know, unrealized, realized, you have all that information there. The equity in my account, my buying power, so overnight buying power. So if any of, any of you are thinking about trading with the Capital Markets Elite Group, you can see how it affects my trades and how it works. And then up here is my orders. So when I place an order and it's an open order, it'll be in this window up here. Market clock I love because I get out and in on, well, mostly get in on the close of candles. So this lets me know when that's getting ready, when it's time for me to get in, basically. And then down here in this window, I'm going to try to put the pennies per share because I think that's also important for traders to be able to see. So when I close out a trade, I'll try to put my pennies per share in here. And then my futures account uh, or trading will look like this. All my futures trading will be in here. And one of my three strategies will be in this window, depending on what's going on with futures. So that you'll see, that's how that looks. So basically here we just have my quantity and then you'll you'll see, you know, the price, you know, what I'm doing money-wise when the position's open. It does, won't show you when the position's closed. So you have to look at that right before the position closes if you're wondering what it is. So you'll see those kind of things over there. And yep, so that'll be my futures account. You'll see like that. So for swing trading, this is what you're going to see. This is my TD Ameritrade. And you'll basically see this count I'm starting with $2,500. So we'll see that thing growing together. And then you'll see any positions that get open and, um, and stuff like that. So basically it'll be a window like this. Uh, it won't be like the charting windows that you normally see for my swing trading. Okay, so the plan, the plan going forward, the crazy new plan. So the original plan called for me to start with $1,000, right? So the new plan, if I, what I wanted to do was probably going to blow up my account, but we're going to go for that plan now. So let's show you what the difference is. So my original plan gave me a starting account balance of $1,000, right? So then I looked at my risk in that plan. I was willing to risk 4 to 5% max on any one trade and no more than 10% on a group of trades if I got into a bunch of stuff at the same time. All right, so commissions with Capital Markets Elite Group round trip is about $8. It's like $7.90 or something like that. Round it up to 8 bucks, make it easy. So my risk reward basically only risking 4% is 40 bucks. But when you factor in commissions, that would actually be $48 with a $32 reward, which is over my risk of 4% that I'm going for and I don't want to run at you know $50 at 5% because there's going to be slippage potential and mistakes and I really don't want to exceed 5% so um, that actually doesn't work 40 bucks won't actually work so I'll have to lower that down and it'll have to be risk $32 because then after commissions there's $8 there so that's 40 and then my reward out of that would actually be 24 so every trade that um, that I'm, I'm actually risking after commissions I'm actually risking forty dollars a trade to make twenty four dollars that sounds insane right so but that's what happens when you have a small account a thousand bucks you're trying not to exceed five percent no matter what you, I've got to put myself in the four percent range commissions is eight dollars that's a huge percentage 
of that you know of that re reward so that's what you end up with if you haven't done a trading plan to figure out exactly what's happening in your trading life I highly recommend you put together a trading plan like a full trading plan when do you take pro uh, a paycheck the whole nine so with the risk of uh, so with a risk of forty dollars and a reward of twenty four, on average, I have one trade a day, um, and you know sometimes I get more, sometimes you know I don't get any. Um, so I'd say an average of one trade a day, and I have an eighty percent win rate, or I usually win eight out of ten trades. And my statistics that I put together with my trading plan are all based on a proven statistical probability, and that's through back testing and sim trading. You know I know I get you know more than one re reward sometimes per trade but I can't quantify that statistically to fit this so I stick with what I know which is just uh, basic on average of one trade a day which equ equates to you know one reward or one loss okay so in a month my average I'm looking at is 20 trades in a month with an 80 percent success rate that means I'll have 16 winners um, out of that 20 trades so 16 winners at a reward of $24 a win gives me a projected income of $384 for the month. Sounds great, right? Start with a thousand bucks, got $384. Sounds awesome. Then at the same time, my projected losses out of because out of 20 trades, so four of those will be losers on the way things are going. So I'll lose $160 out of that 20 out of that 20 trades. So then I'll have platform fees that will also come out of um, my my account at the end of the month. Platform fees right now at the making of this video for Capital Markets Elite with the Dash Trader Pro that I have is about $100. So now we're looking at a monthly income of $124. So on that thousand bucks, $124 is still pretty awesome percentage-wise, right? You know, it's huge. So it's better than people get a savings account in a year probably and stuff like that. So still really good. But now when you look at that $124, that gives me $1,124 on my account or an increased potential risk reward um, of $4 per trade. So when you look at that going forward, it's a pretty slow grow. Like this account's going to grow really slowly with $1,000. Yes, it could be a bit compounding. And it'll definitely start to really accelerate as uh, the budgets, go, you know, as the money goes up, as accounts start to double, it'll really, really start to accelerate. But it's a really slow grow. So now it's worth $1,000. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm basically going to not start with $1,000. I'm going to start with what you see right here, $643. So now today is September 16th. So basically in you know 10 trading days, I have $100 coming out of this account for platform fees for October. So if that happens, you know, I'm down to 540. So as long as I don't have any, you know, as long as this account goes up from here, I'm okay. But if I drop this account 50 bucks once platform fees come out, boom, account is done. So Probably not a great time to start, but we're just going to go for it. Why not? So what's the worst that could happen? So I have to have at least 500 in my account to be able to to trade with leverage, which I, you know you kind of need for the small account what, what I'm trading. So no more $1,000 account. I'm basically going to reduce that to $640. So the plan now is to throw out the rules. So the rules of how much I'm willing to risk and reward. I was keeping it to 3 to 4%. But now we're just going to max out. So we're basically going in, you know, all in, all the time, 90% buying power, regardless. We're just going all in all the time. So it's again, starting with that 640. The plan is to blow up my account because if I don't plan to blow up my account, then I'm going to be stressed out, right? Like if you're like, oh, I have to make money. I have to grow the account. That's going to be stressful when things aren't going right. If the plan is to see how long the account will survive before it blows up, much easier because then I can say, oh, it lasted two weeks. It lasted a month, the, but the ultimate plan, I guess, would be to blow up the account, and then hopefully that's not what happens. So, and if everything works out, I'll go in all in all the time, 90% buying power until I hit five grand. So five grand or bust, and then I'm going to start over, and I'm going to see how many times I can do that all in all the time, and see if, you know, just my way of thinking for the last 22 years was flawed. You know, always risk a small amount of your account, have 
have a conservative growth pattern, you know, get aggressive with house money, look at the market trends and get aggressive at those times, like, you know, all that stuff. But I'm wondering if I switch this with this algorithm, which is so fantastic to just all in all the time, if it will work out. So that's the experiment I'm going to try here. And I'm going to put it all on video and upload it so that everybody can see it. And then we can see together what happens. So my students will be able to learn from it because they'll see the algorithm working and they'll see all that part of it working. If I'm blowing up the account, they'll see how important it is to really manage risk based on percentage of your account and have that proper growth. Or maybe we'll see something different. And then for those of you who are not my students, it could be an entertaining ride to see the roller coaster that's going to happen here in the next week, two weeks, months. I don't know, I don't know how long this is going to last. But you'll get that ride and we'll see how it goes. So we're starting this on September 17th. And then uh, let's look at what this means from a trading perspective. Okay, so based on um, what I've been trading and what I know with my uh, my portfolio, this is what I'm looking at. So I have a potential to do $200 risk um, with a reward of 192 because of commissions, right? Risk reward, if it's the same, um, roughly, I'm in this zone. As in zone, give or take. Maybe this is 208, maybe this is 189, like somewhere, you know, roughing it out. But if I cut that in half, just to do easy math, I'm going to say $92 and $100. Cut it in half and call it an average for um, what I'm expecting with the portfolio. The potential, and again, you know, I have to, I'll see what, what the trade setups end up being the next like month or whatever. But the potential is for out of 20 trades, you know, hopefully I will get more than that with adding in my gap trades and stuff like that. But with 20 trades per month, my potential earnings is 1472 loss of 400 minus platform fees you know i might be able to pull in 972 so i guess my rough monthly goal then for the next four weeks is 972 i don't know that we're gonna get there it all depends on market conditions what trades come up in the gap in the gap scan and all that stuff so um yeah so we'll see what happens so that's the plan going forward and we shall see if this is a bad idea a good idea we can all learn from it together i'm sure and uh, we'll see you tomorrow on September 17th so that we can kick off this uh, $640 to, you know, 500K or bust challenge. All in, all the time, basically throwing risk management out the window. And let's have fun with it and see what happens. All right, so this craziness is only for my Capital Markets Elite Group accounts. So with my day trading, not for my swing trading or for my futures trading so that I will not do this with. Um, I'm pretty sure with my futures account, I would just straight up blow up the account. And uh, same thing with uh, swing trading. I'll probably do pretty good with this, actually. I might try that next time with swing trading. We'll see. We'll see. But for now, I'm going to play by the rules over there. And uh, here is just for the day trading. So starting account, $640. All in, all the time. 90% buying power for every trade. This way, I can use hotkeys. If I did 99 or 100% and the stock moved a penny, then I might not get in. So... 90% should be able to get in and out quickly with hot keys. Risk management through strategy, not position sizing or even a dollar amount risk loss. It'll be strictly through strategy. So yeah, we'll see what happens with this craziness. I'm either going to take this 640 bucks and grow it to five grand or I'm going to blow up the account. Either way, we'll all learn something. We'll all be entertained and we'll start this tomorrow on September 17th, 2020 and see what happens. All right, see you tomorrow.